So now we know how to calculate the mode of a data set. And in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to calculate the mode of a large data set. Whatever example we have used till now, in order to find the mode, we have used small data sets. What if yeah, you have been given a large data set like the one in this example? So how will you find the mode without you know, making an error? We are going to use tally marks. Okay, so first you'll make a column of all the numbers present here. We'll have to mention them here. Then we'll use tally marks to count the occurrence and then the count, final count. So let's begin. First, you have to write all those values here in an ascending order. So start from one. We don't have zeros here, so start from one. Then we have two. Then we have three. Then we have four. Do we have five? Yes, we have five. Do we have six? Yes, we have six. Do we have seven? Yes, we have seven. We have eight. We have 9, we have 10, we have 11, and we have 12. Okay, so let me draw them here like this so that there's no confusion. I'm going to pause uh, this video so that I can draw this line. So we have drawn all the lines here so that we can separate these numbers and let's begin to count using tally marks. So we have one here, then we have another one here, two times, we have three times one, and then we have four times one, and then we have five times one. Okay, do we have another one? No. What about two? So we have two here. We have another two here. We have another two here. We have another two here, four. We have another two here, so this is fifth one. And, okay, that's it. Then come to three. So three is here. 3 is here, 2, 3 is here, 3, okay, so we have only 3 times 3, now what, what about 4, so 4 is 1 here, then 2nd here, then 3rd here and 4th here, we have 2 times, 3 and 4, then we have, okay, so we have 4 times 4, what about 5? So 5 is here, then, okay, so we have only one time 5. What about 6? Six? 6 is here, 6 is here, 2 times 6, 3 times 6 and 4 times 6, so 3 and 4, that's it. What about 7? Seven? 7 we have here, 1. Another one, two. So only two times seven. What about eight? We have eight here. And we have eight here, two times. What about nine? So we have nine here. And we have nine here, two times. What about 10? So we have 10 here. We have 10 here. We have 10 here three times but what 11 what about 11 so 11 is just one time and what about 12 so 12 is two times one times and two times okay so let's write the count now this is five this is also five this is three this is four this is 1, this is 4, this is 2, this is 2, this is 2, this is 3, 
this is 1 and this is 2. So clearly, here we have two 5 counts, 2 times 5. 1 is for the number 1 and 1 is for the number 2. Therefore, if you have to tell the mode of this given data set, that will be 1 and 2. Why 1 and 2? Because we know that we can have more than one mode for a given data set and it all depends upon the number of frequency upon the frequency or the number of occurrence of that particular number or value. So we have two times uh, five count and one five count is for number one and one five count is number two. So we have mode one and two. So this is the way to calculate the mode of a large data set. We will use Telly bars or telly marks and for that you should know the concept of telly marks. So if you don't know, please go to the playlist on data handling and data set and you can watch the tutorials, video tutorials on telly marks.